We are at the entranceway of Saratoga Racecourse, and there's no better place to be this time of year. This is the epicenter of East Coast racing, and when you talk about boutique meets, you talk about three major ones in the United States. Here at Saratoga in upstate New York, out west in Del Mar and California's seaside retreat there, and then in Keeneland in the spring and the fall, you see the seasons change at Keeneland Racecourse. These three boutique meets are very unique in that the racing is outstanding, the meets are short in length, but the great thing about all three of them is the towns really embrace the horse racing fans. Lexington, Kentucky, Del Mar, California, Saratoga Springs, New York, they welcome you with open arms. And throughout this preview of my five handicapping hints for the boutique meets, we're going to take you to some different places around Saratoga Springs so you get a little taste of the town. In front of the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame, just across the street from Saratoga Race Course, we start with our handicapping tips. And the first one is handicap ahead of time. With these boutique meets, they're usually large fields, very competitive, and you've got big crowds to deal with when you get to the racetrack. You'll want to get in line much earlier than usual. Parking's going to take you longer to get to the track for the first race. So a lot of your prep time that you may have at a normal race meeting or on a normal race day will be out the window at a boutique meet. You want to work ahead. Eliminate the horses you you don't feel that are going to be contenders so that when you get to the track you can focus on just the leading contenders for these boutique meets from downtown Saratoga Springs where the tourists file down Broadway for the shops and the eateries throughout the meet. The tourists will also be lining up at Saratoga Race Course and they'll be wagering mostly in the win place and show pools when the race meet starts. That's where you find most of your casual bettors following. So my second tip in betting the boutique meets, watch the will pay odds and the exotic prices for the multi-race wagers to determine where the smart money is in the pools. Those races ending in the pick three, the pick four will give you a very good look at the will pays and tell you where the smart money is in the races, not where the tourist money is, because that money will be showing up in the win place and show pools. If you can get an overlay price based on those will pays in the pick threes and pick fours, that's a way to take advantage of these novice crowds at the boutique meets. At Congress Park at the famed carousel that the great Mary Lou Whitney helped restore about a decade or so ago. The kids still enjoy it here in Saratoga Springs year round. And it's a place where you can come at Congress Park and handicap ahead of time. Lay on the grass and take your time and relax throughout the day. That's kind of the pace that is Saratoga Springs. Our third handicapping hint as we look at these boutique meets is to look for the hot connections. The meets are short and they are off to a fast start for some folks and off to a very slow start for others. The folks who get off to a slow start rarely recover at these meets when talking about the jockeys and the trainers. As far as the uh, hot connections go, when they get off to a fast start, they tend to ride it out throughout the meet. So if you're not handicapping the first week of the meet, pay close attention to the standings. Trainers who have horses who run better than their odds might indicate. Jockeys who are getting long shots to hit the board. Guys who are off to a good start are going to run off a fast and hot streak throughout the course of a boutique meet. It happens here at Saratoga, it happens at Del Mar, and it certainly happens at Keeneland when the meet is even shorter. Years ago, folks used to come to Saratoga just for these, the natural springs. They had healing effects, and the bottled water is good nowadays. But horses nowadays come to Saratoga Springs for a specific reason, because the big money and the prestige is on the line at the Saratoga race meet. And that's one of my major handicapping hints for the boutique meets, whether you're talking here at Saratoga, Del Mar, or Keeneland. Look for horses who are pointing for races at this particular meet. There are no giveaways. Owners and trainers are not trying to set their horses up at these meets to run the next time out. They're here to run to Today. The optimum layoff, four to six weeks, perhaps a little bit longer, maybe up to two months. Horses who are primed for these spots. Horses who ran at the end of the preceding meet, a Churchill or an Ellis Park before they get to Keeneland, um, Belmont before they get to Saratoga, or even Hollywood Park before they get to Del Mar. Those horses who ran at the end of those particular lead-up meets should be taken with a grain of salt and actually disrespected a little bit. They ran at the end of the easier meet. The tougher meet is now, and the horses who have been laid off and pointing to this meet Again, a layoff of a month or longer is something that I prefer going in to these boutique meets. When you come to Saratoga Springs, the first time you have to come to Hattie's Fried Chicken. They blew away Bobby Flay in the throwdown, and since 1930-something, they've been serving the greatest fried chicken on earth. I've beat a few of those chickens over the course of the years, as you can tell. It's a place that I like to come back to, and the repeat theme is something I really like to look at in the boutique meets from a handicapping standpoint. Horses running back, horses I call runbacks, the second time at a meet. They come back on two, three, four weeks rest after our effort at the beginning of the meet are often very well met 
it at the end of the meet. Here at Saratoga last year, we saw multiple horses win two times at the meet. In fact, over the past couple years, an average of about 30 horses every meet will win twice at the meet. Not run twice, but win twice at the meet. And those numbers are very similar at Del Mar, where it's actually a little bit more. And at Keeneland, at the end of the short meet, you'll see horses win back on short rest, too. Look for those horses second time at the meet, and you could find one landing in the winner's circle.